When you change your oil, don't just throw these out. They have a story to tell. Welcome back to the laboratory. If you watched the last video, I might have mentioned that I was pissed off at the GTO and the Mustang for various things. Well, on the GTO, I recently did an oil change on it, and it's got a magnetic drain plug on the oil pan. There was a lot of metal shavings on that oil drain plug, more than I was comfortable with. So, this is the filter that came out. I mentioned that these things have a story to tell, and the story to tell is, well, what's all lodged in the filter media. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a specific tool that's used to cut open oil filters. We're going to cut this thing open, and we're going to look at, well, first of all, we're going to look and see what's in the bottom of it, if there's big metal chunks in there. Uh, and then we're going to look in between the pleats on the filter media and see if there's a whole bunch of shiny metal filings in there too. If this thing looks pretty clean, then I'm not going to worry so much about my GTO engine. If there's a bunch of metal in here, then I've got reason to be worried and reason to be pissed off. So let's see how this looks. All right, first step is to cut the filter open. So we're gonna use our special tool here that works kind of like a can opener. And we're just gonna spin the filter around, tighten it up a bit, keep spinning. And it's popped out of the rollers. Okay, again, we don't edit out the fail on this channel. So, we'll go back and try again. Yeah, we don't edit out the fail, but it's... Oh, it's already cut through one side, but... It hasn't cut everywhere else yet, so... There we go. check valve, and this is where some rags are going to come in handy. And we're going to pull out, and we're going to pull out, and it doesn't want to release the filter, because it's actually pinched. Let's pinch the uh, outer casing a little bit here. Okay, we'll go get some pliers. We'll fix that up. That looks a bit better. And it's still stubborn. I've never had this problem before with a Wix filter, usually. Usually the element comes right out. There we go, and a colossal mess that's come out with it. Okay, so if we look at what's coming out the bottom. Oh, don't worry about that spring, that didn't come from the engine. There's no big chunks. Uh, in the bottom. 
And looking at the oil, there isn't uh, a whole lot of metallic rainbowy type stuff um, in there either, so that's good. Now we want to look in between the plates and see if there's any big chunks of oil, uh, sorry, big chunks of, uh, of metal, any shiny bits. And this is all looking pretty good too. Now, if we really want to get into it, we would cut the uh, paper um, out and then I could stretch it out um, and look in more detail, but what I'm seeing here actually looks pretty good and I think I'll sleep well tonight knowing that the GTO engine is probably still pretty good. There's one little piece of metal there. You can see that shiny spot um, up there, but so far that's the only that's the only bit of metal that I've found in there. Okay, so the shavings that we found on the drain plug, we're just going to uh, assume those are just normal wear and tear uh, shavings, probably from the cylinder walls. And unfortunately, I didn't get uh, a video of what the drain plug looked like, but uh, like I said, there was there were some shavings on there that had me a bit concerned. But looking through this filter now, uh, those concerns um, are just not there anymore. Another little piece of metal um, in here, or is that actually part of the filter? That might be part of the filter. Yeah, that was part of the filter. Never mind. The oil shining in here sometimes looks like it's little pieces of metal. Okay, I think we've gone one lap around on this thing now and uh, just found that one tiny little piece uh, of metal was the worst of it. So we're going to say that the engine's fine. I shouldn't be concerned. Maybe I don't need to be pissed off at the GTO. Well, not for this reason, but I've got other reasons why I'm still pissed off at it too. Uh, but it's winter now, and uh, the parts that I ordered months and months ago, like everything else, is back ordered in the pandemic. So I didn't get a chance to install those parts and take the car to the track and do any of that stuff. So I'm still, they're promising me a month or so before I see the parts. They're going to come sometime over the winter, so in the spring we'll put that new stuff on. There'll be another video about that, and then when racing season opens again next spring, we'll take it to the track again and, and see what happens. Um, in the meantime, I've got lots of stuff, like the Epic, to keep me busy over the winter with projects. i still got a bunch of other stuff to do on the Mustang. Still pissed off at it. It's on the lift behind me right now that you can't see, but... We'll get after that thing too. So thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. Like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate the comments and feedback. And as usual, be kind and be humble. See you next time. Welcome back to the channel. If you watched the last video, I... Blah, 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 blah. This is where a script would really work well. One of the reasons I'm pissed off at the GTO as well, I recently did an oil change and it has a magnetic drain plug in it. There was a lot of... Ma <clears throat> this is where two cameras would work good. And this is where everything just becomes a comedy of errors. The microphone's falling off. The cameras that don't want to pivot.